fishing world. I'm Bill Jaropoulos, the host of the Amfish Video Fishing Blog. Um, doing a series of fishing videos up here. I'm actually fishing today, ice fishing a little bit on my own. And I'm going to do a series of videos because I'm not sure when I'll be able to get back up here and do a little bit of fishing in the next couple of weeks. This little video blog is about being prepared. Um, I'm in a hut, as you can see behind me. They've got a propane heater, so it's not too bad when it comes to um, feeling cold or being cold. But just be prepared. Uh, you don't know what the day is going to bring to you. It's actually about, uh, I'm going to say close to minus 9, minus 10 outside. Not a windy day at all. It's only about uh, quarter to 10 in the morning. But just be prepared. Uh, what I mean by that is I've got my gloves. I've got an extra pair of mitts in my backpack. I've actually got some warm soup here in my um, North 49 thermos. Um, warm fluids, very important. If you're drinking uh, nothing but cold water all day, whether you're inside the hut or outside, your body's going to burn calories trying to warm up that water. So it's better to take some warm fluids in versus cold fluids. Uh, I've got my jacket here. I've got my uh, jacket that I'm actually sitting on right now. An extra jacket in the actual in my truck, who's not too that's not too far from here. Got a scarf, handy little knife. Always handy to have a little knife. Fishing gloves, and I am prepared. I've got layers on. Um, when you're looking to dress outside, again, whether you're in a hut or outside, you don't know what the day is going to throw at you. Uh, I've picked up some tips over the years as well. Your first layer on your skin, do not wear cotton. Uh, you will feel cold. It will actually make you feel colder. So I've got a dry fit shirt on. Anything that's not a, a natural fiber, basically like a dry fit or um, any any type of material that is a man-created, uh, man-made material, uh, that's what you want as your base layer. It's basically a second layer of skin. That will keep you a lot warmer. And I've got a few layers. I've got a couple of layers underneath as well. Another thin layer of merino wool, which is basically long john material. Uh, a couple of layers underneath here. You don't know what the day will throw at you. And the worst thing is not having extra things to put on. Um, I've got an extra jacket just in case. I don't know how cold it'll get. What if I get stuck in a snowstorm up here? Uh, it's icy and I can't get home on time and I'm actually stuck. So what I do is a series of little safety tips excuse me, and blogs throughout this entire fishing video blog series that I've been running. Keep yourself safe. It doesn't take much time to just pack up some extra stuff to stay warm. Maybe I've got a friend here who did not prepare properly for the day and I need to loan him a jacket or uh, a pair of gloves or a pair of mitts or a toque uh, for that case. So just be prepared. Um, it does not take much, like I said, to have a few extra things, get up there, maybe do a little bit of research uh, and learn what to bring with you and what extras to bring with you. Um, that way you're just, you know, once you get that chill, it's really hard to get rid of it. You're chasing that chill and it's going to be next to impossible um, to try and catch it. So once you start feeling cold, put on a layer. If you've got layers on, you can always take them off. If you don't have layers, you can't sit outside this hut and try and make up a sweater uh, with branches or something like that. It's just not going to happen, guys. So keep yourself safe, do it the right way, be prepared, and enjoy your fishing outings. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.